Hey everyone, Griff Hamlin here today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about one of my personal favorite effects pedals, a wah pedal. And what I have here is I have a, uh, a full tone Clyde wah, which is what I happen to be using at the moment. I've owned Crybabies and Buddhas and uh, Vox and a lot of different brands over the years. Um, I happen to be uh, liking this one at the moment, so I, I chose this. Um, the wah pedal is, is just such an expressive pedal. I like it because I control it while while I'm playing. So I can really use it to enunciate things. It's got a very vocal quality to it, which is why I enjoy it. You don't just turn it on and leave it there. You actually get to play with it. So let's uh, let's go through some some stuff with it and I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit about how it works. So you'll notice that my foot just kind of sits on here. So right now it's off. So there's nothing going on. In order to engage it, I have to actually push it all the way forward and then click the switch and now it's going to actually change the tone based on where my foot sits. So this is the you know back position or the closed position and it's kind of very dark and then as I move it forward it opens up and hence the name wah because it kind of makes a wah sound as you open it. So I can rock it. I can get like effects if I rock it back and forth quickly. Um, I can uh, I can use it like rhythmically if I have basically what I'm doing is tapping my foot. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very you know. Uh, 70s disco or uh, Jimi Hendrix, whichever you prefer. <laughs> um, I can use it to enunciate a line. So in which case I'm using it with the melody. So that's definitely more of a, of a melody, you know, enunciating individual notes. Um, there's really not a lot of other uses of it, except some people like to use it in a, in a single, what they call a coctua setting. So for example, uh, this tends to work better with some overdrive. So if you're, if you're playing just regular, solo comes along and they'll actually leave it in that one setting and it's kind of a you know somewhere between half open and all the way and really the reason for that is usually kicking on a wah pedal gives you just a little bit of, of boost in gain so that'll you know give you a little bit more sustain and a little bit more oomph behind the solo. The other part of that is when you kick on the wah pedal, it tends to cut out some of the low end and particularly in that cocked wah setting, gives you a little bit of high mid range and, and upper mid range boost, which again cuts through a mix. So when it's time for a guitar solo and you want to cut through a mix, hitting the wah pedal and just backing it off a little bit from full open can can give you a little bit of extra presence. So that's uh, that's the wah pedal. That's pretty much what it's all about and what it does. Um, it, like I say, it's about, it's just about my favorite pedal in the world. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you, uh, you can get some cool use out of your wah pedal. 